So last week, I went from one perfume paradise, Dubai, to another, Paris. Not just for the world famous landmarks, Hosmanian style architecture, beautiful weather, the food, oh god the food. But I went there to learn about perfumery, attend various perfumery workshops, but most of all to pick up shit loads of French fragrances. So welcome to Smelly Cat's Paris Perfume Vlog Part 1. On Eva. Hello people, my name is Nixon Dice and you are watching Smelly Cat. So in the last couple of weeks, I went from Dubai to Paris, Brussels, Kent, Bruges, back to Paris and then back to Dubai. But in this video, we'll concentrate on my time in Paris, where most of the fragrance related fun took place. But hey, any fragrance junkie worth their salt knows that the real fun starts as soon as you reach duty free and Dubai is up there with the very best. I usually look forward to the 20% off on the Creed rack here, but they didn't have it this time. That wasn't going to be a problem because I was headed to the Creed boutique in Paris, as you will see in part two. Here's what I did pick up because the prices were way cheaper than in stores. First, Dior Sauvage Elixir. I picked up two bottles, one while leaving and a backup bottle on my way back as well. Next, I picked under the lemon tree and by the fireplace because they were $45 cheaper than stores in the UAE at just $100 each and there was no way I was gonna let a deal like that pass. One thing I regret not picking was Angel Share by Killian because the prices were better than even in Paris. My wife on the other hand picked Armani my way. Don't ask me why, she makes weird choices all the time. Uh, she chose me after all. Look at her shamelessly flaunting her bad choices. Oh, almost forgot to show you this cool Paco Rabanne phantom tester strip that was specially made for COVID restrictions. All you do is peel and sniff. Anyways, before we knew it, boarding was done, we were up, up and away and already in Paris ready to do all the touristy things. At the Louvre Museum, after you've spent 12 hours gawking at the structure, the sculptures, the art, and taking multiple selfies with Mona Lisa, you will exit at the underground mall called Carousel du Louvre, which is connected to the museum. Here at the underground mall, we decided to stop at Fragonard Boutique, which is one of the stores of the oldest perfumeries in France, Fragonard Perfumer. Here my wife picked a few, <clears throat> quite a few soaps, and I picked this massive 200ml Cologne Grand Luxe for just 40 euros. That was like half the price of my taxi from the airport to the hotel. We then made our way to Essential Parfums where I wanted to pick almost everything up. But my strict wife has a strict two perfumes per store rule. Feel free to scold her in the comments. The two I did pick were Orange X Santal and Bois Imperial by the famous noses Natalie Garcia Chateau and Quantan Pish, respectively. The store may be small, but the one manning it has a big heart. Meet Jeremy, who has his own perfume related page on Instagram. Do follow. And I put inside every any samples for you. And um, you know, a perfume ceramic. He's also one of the first to try my fragrances. Here's what he thought. Oh, I love the spray. You like the spray? <laughs> I love the spray. I like the spray. It's fresh, spicy, I love it's in the top note it's very sparkling first, very spicy and wow the background it's very smooth but witty <laughs> you know not too sweet not too humid a little bit suave very sexy I think very seductive oh I love the cinnamon inside. It's very equilibré. In French, it's equilibré. <laughs> oh yeah. How much it's would you rate it? How much would you rate it out of ten? If you have to give a number, be honest. A not? No, out of uh, ten, how much points would you give it? With my test, eight. Oof! <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I think eight. Because this is my test in nice. perfume. Yeah. 
I love Ambery's perfumes, I love resinous perfumes, but spicy perfume is very interesting too. <laughs> and spices is completely different between the seasons, you know? Yes. So, oh, for the night, this one, so seductive. <laughs> yeah, this is what can, can, can I put on? Yeah, yeah, of course, of course. Oh, the spray it's so it's magic. <laughs> I love this spray. <laughs> oh yeah. Ah, oh, first is the cardamom. Exactly. And yeah, the that's the so chai kulfi is actually chai is like tea, Indian tea. But so after so yeah, but after it's a little bit licorous. Yeah. If you want to. Yeah, I think it's, it's, it's a little bit licorous. It's actually the clove. Yeah, that gives it that licorice like knot for it, maybe. Oh, it, in the blotter, it's more fresh. Yeah, on your skin. skin is more warm. Yeah, it's a little gourmandish. Exactly, most you have. Yeah. So, 8 out of 10 from Jeremy. Not bad, huh? Anyways, next we enjoy this day's nightlife because the next day we had something big planned. Visiting Marc Antoine Barois. It was close when we got there, but there was no way I was going to leave without getting my hands on Ganymede. Because it would just be rude not to, and also because no one sells it in Dubai. So a few calls to the other store and we got Lucas to come back early from his lunch break. Who's Lucas? This rock star. Okay, so nice to meet you. Welcome to Marc Antoine's Barrois. This is the showroom of Marc Antoine Barrois. It's open in uh, two, 2009. Okay, uh, no, 209, sorry, sorry for my English, okay, maybe I'm... No, 2009 is perfect. Okay, so the first perfume of the house is B6A3, okay. This is, you have a leather touch, a spices and wood in it, so you're gonna try it. So this is the first perfume with Quentin Biche. So Marc-Antoine Barrois opened his, uh, his um, showroom of couture and in, a, in a two, 2015 he met Quentin Biche and Quentin Biche is a French nose in Paris and they create the first perfume so, and they just created for, created for um, uh, perfume the showroom but the success was here and everyone... I know, that's why I'm here, right? <laughs> yes, 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 and uh, this is relatable to the Petit Prince so you have a planet in the Petit Prince, um, they call B612. Uh, yes, so where, the, yeah. where the name comes from. Yeah, yeah. and 683, this is the date of birth of Marc-Antoine Barrois. And the second one is Ganymede. Ganymede is really... This is what I'm excited for. Yes, you are here for Ganymede. <laughs> so Ganymede, this is a, a little bit more fresh. You have tangerine in it, oh, this is you amazing. have violet and uh, immortal flower. And this is really more uh, fresh perfume. All our perfume is unisex, worn by men and women. And this is a um, prestigious uh, materials. You you found a very good. Uh, uh, we we not use every. Um, uh, I don't I don't have this word for that, but every uh, maybe synthetic or so you use natural. Yeah yeah yeah. This is natural. This is natural material. So and the last one is B six H three extract. So this one is is forty percent concentrate of perfume. So this is more intense at the first uh, at the first step when you smell it, but it's really evolve in the day. And this is uh, yeah, the, yes. <laughs> and this is a reinterpretation of the of the B six A three. I so like the it first more than perfume. That. And you have touch of green apple in it. Yes, I like that little fruitiness in the top. Yes, it's a, this is it's very nice. This is like a reinterpretation of the first one, but more fruity. Yeah, I prefer it. And I, I can, I can give you the name. So, but we have a new one. All right. Yes, I, you're gonna try it. All right. I just. So this hasn't launched yet. No, 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 no. But it's launched this this month. So you have an exclusivity. Ah, and nice. I can tell you the name. Okay. 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 I'll tell the people that expect something then. <laughs> So you can try it and, and give your and give your Of course, of course. You can put it on my skin. Getting to try a new fragrance before the rest of the world. Now who would say no to that? Oh. So this is super exclusive. <laughs> <laughs> to my nose, it smelled like a mix between Baccarat Rouge 540 and Irish leather without any leather. And that one spray lasted me all day long. I'm not really doing it justice, but believe me, this is going to be a massive hit. How lucky was I?
We then got down to business and no prizes for guessing what I bought. Lucas even threw in a few samples and a discovery set. What you see here is my anime being quite fancily wrapped up, which I'm going to rip open later anyways. Sorry, Lucas. We then continue to explore the rest of the city like true tourists, but hey, there's going to be a lot more coming in part 2, including a visit to the gorgeous Creed Boutique, shopping at French classics, some not-so-French ones, and a whole lot more, like making my own perfume from scratch and getting a real French perfumer to try one of my new creations. So hit that like button, subscribe, hit the bell icon because part 2 is going to be even better. And until next time, keep smelling amazing. Bye.